My name is Roland McCook. I am a member of the Northern Ute Tribe, specifically the uh, Uncompahgre Band of Utes. Tell you a little bit about myself. My father was Ori McCook. And Ori's father was Jimmy McCook. Jimmy McCook's mother was Kurup Uch, and Kurup Uch's mother was Guanita. Guanita is the full sister of Chipita, and Kurup Uch's father was Quenchigap. Quenchigap is a full brother of Chief Ore. And it being that Chief Ure and Chipita could not have children of their own, it is not uncommon for our people to give to others that don't have. <clears throat> and in this case, Juanito and Quenchigap gave to Chief Ure and Chipita their daughter, Kurupuich, to raise as their own. And so, so it was that Chief Ore and Chipita raised my great grandmother, Kurupuich. And also, after Kurupuich had married Atavai, New Day, she gave her son to Chipita and Chief Ore as well. And they raised him to adulthood. And after Chief Ore had passed away in 1881, then Jimmy went to live in Utah with Chipita. Now l let me tell you a little bit about, about what I have here, which is part of our culture. This is a vest that I had made for me by a fellow by the name of David Weaseltail, who's a northern Shoshone out of Wyoming. <clears throat> I asked him to do a, de a detailed vest which would show some of the mountains. And he came up with this design, which is a rising star design. This is the star, these are mountains, and these are flowers, the reds are flowers. And below it you have a lake in the blue with the flowers growing along the shore. And below it is the reflection of that. And that is what this is, and it's repeated up here. The rising star and the flowers are repeated up here. And um, this is the vest that he made for me, and this is a typical vest for um, the Utes that occupied these mountains here. And this is a headdress that was put together by my father, Ore. This design was made by him, and my mother put this together, a beadwork, and is worn normally by leaders. My father was a tribal councilman. He was the chairman of the Northern Ute Tribe. And I, was, having been elected to the tribal council, also was a vice chairman and the chairman of my tribe. And I was a tribal leader for nine and a half years and only gave it up a year ago in May. The Northern Ute Tribe consists of the Uinta Band, who are the Utah Indians the White River Band, which were the Yampa Indians. I know that it's spelled Yampatika, is how you say it phonetically, but it's, the Ute word is Yamparka. Yamparka means root eaters, or eaters of the Yampa plant root. And um, today they are the White River Utes, named for the river that flows passed in White River, in the White River area. 
And the third group is the Taviwach Utes, or now known as the Uncompagri. And the way we say it is Akapagarir. Akapagarir means red pond, red lake. And so we, we as um, Utes, we call ourselves Nooch. And if you say Akapagarir Nooch, that's Uncompagri people. And um, White Rivers, Nooch, and Uintach, those are the Utah Utes. You see, because the Utes are not names that we gave to ourselves. That is a, that is a Puebloan word for us. They were the first to use the Utahs uh, when they um, brought the Spanish people into the Ute country. They referred to the people living there as the Utahs and uh, shortened it up with Utes. And of course the state of Utah is named after the Utes. The Ute population in Colorado at its highest was probably a right around 5,000. But um, it, it, with encroachment and the uh, diseases that came, uh, the White Rivers were probably right around uh, seven, maybe a thousand people. And the Uncompagres was always the largest, and they numbered right around two, two, two to three thousand. Southern Utes about fifteen hundred, um, and so, and you can divide the state of Colorado in thirds. The top third being the Yampa and White River, who are the White Rivers today, and the middle being the Tavitwatch or the uh, Grand River Utes, and the south, of course on the other side of the San Juans as the Southern Utes. Those are the principal territories that they pretty much stayed in those areas, although there were some intermarriages going on.